Effective Project Management. This is a presentation on the Logical Framework Matrix. The Logical Framework Approach, LFA, is a project management tool used in the design, monitoring, and evaluation of development projects. A component of this framework is the Log Frame Matrix, which is a 4x4 matrix with information in columns and in rows. It's a way to organize information that helps us manage a project. The four rows are used to describe four different types of events that take place as the project is implemented. We have the goal, the ultimate goal of the project, objectives, the outcomes or consequences of the project outputs, results, also known as the outputs of the project activities, and activities, the actions in which a project will encore. The columns, four columns, provide different types of information about the events in each one of the rows. The first column provides a narrative description of the event. The second column lists one or more objectively verifiable indicators, or OVIs, that are taking place. The third column describes the means of verification of the objectively verifiable indicators. And the fourth column lists all the assumptions and risks for each one of the events. The core of the logical framework is the temporary logic model that runs through the maxic. And it goes like this. If the planned activities are implemented and the assumptions held, then results will be delivered. If the results are delivered and the assumptions are held, then the objective will be achieved. If the objective is achieved and the assumptions held, then the project goal will be achieved. Let's see how that works with our matrix. We complete our matrix. We describe the goal, the objectives, the results, and the activities. We also list our risk and assumptions. And the logic follows us this. If we do the activity and the assumption held, then we are able to achieve the result. If we achieve the result and the assumption held, then we are able to achieve the objectives. If we achieve the objectives and the assumptions held for that objective, then we achieve the goal of the project. Notice that at this level there are no risks or assumptions because we are not moving higher in that list. The concept behind this logic is that assumptions and risks are usually designed at the beginning of the project so that the logical components of activities to results to objectives and to go are possible. Any changes in these areas will impact the other areas. So it's a very important process of identifying and validating the assumptions that we have in the project as we start implementing it. Because what happens between the design and the implementation could be a very long period of time in which some of those assumptions and risks have changed. So as a project manager, your responsibility is to make sure that the assumptions are still valid at each one of these levels. Here the logic was important for us to identify the levels of activities, the results, objectives, and the final goal of the project by making sure that the assumptions and the risks are valid. So the logic flows up by building the components of the project. And this is a way to look at it in a different way. You start building all the activities that produce the specific results, that produce the objectives, and that, that all these objectives eventually contribute to the project goal. We have seen a little bit of this structure in another presentation, and we called it the WPS. But notice that in this case, in the log frame, we're also working from the bottom up. As long as the assumptions are valid, we'll be able to achieve the project goal of the project. Another important element in the logical framework is the definition of the project SMART goals. Most of you might be familiar with this concept. 
and this acronym that says goals has to be specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. We need to have a good understanding of what is our goal. If we don't know what it is, when we will take it, how long it's going to take us, what we need to achieve it, it's going to be very difficult to say that we achieved it. Here's more information on each one of those elements. By specific, we mean that the specific goal is distinct and defines as much of the goal as possible and contains no ambiguous language. That is measurable. There is a criteria to measure that defines when the goal is completed. That is achievable. The project can achieve the goal with approved resources. It's not an impossible dream. Realistic. There are realistic goals within the availability of resources and the loaded time. And timely. There is a time frame to achieve the goal and track progress. Thank you very much for your attention in this presentation.